it's just literally all balancing. Oh, you can see the ring light. <laughs> you guys are like balancing on something that is not very sturdy at all. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I asked you guys for some questions on Instagram that you wanted me to answer. Bear with me, okay? I've had a literal week from hell this week and I'm just going through it. So, yeah, my videos have been sporadically posted is that the right word sporadic sporadically i don't know they're being posted at weird times like i posted my last video two weeks ago so like i said just bear with me here Ooh, i'm cold can you believe i did not wear makeup today i specifically put makeup on just to film this video it is midnight and it doesn't even matter because you can't even see it all you can see is the ring light you're shaking don't be nervous <laughs> i'm gonna read it, reading these off of a laptop because i'm filming with my phone right now I do not have a camera because I'm broke home. So like I said, I asked you guys for questions on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at VictoriaAnthonyMUA. Go follow me. Thanks. So I asked for questions on my Instagram and you guys did give me a lot. I'm not able to answer all of them. Some of them are the same. Some of them are not. But these are a couple of my favorite questions that I got. So I'm just gonna get right into it at josh snap joe joe snap i think that's your i think that it'll be right here so at joe snap said what's your favorite color to do with eyeshadow i don't have a favorite color um as far as eyeshadow but i will say for me personally that neutrals look the best i just don't have a particular favorite because i do change it up a lot um every day i do something different so I, I don't have a favorite i just neutrals look best on me like i don't think this black like this really dark color looks that good on me it don't even matter because you can't even see it so you guys can't have an opinion on that i think neutrals look best on me they suit me best so if i had to choose i would say like tan beige neutrals <laughs> um but i don't have like a favorite like i don't because i don't wear like colorful makeup at all <sighs> i should probably speak up and i'm gonna be a little quiet because it is like i said it is midnight and i'm not trying to wake everyone up mira rivera lol 2006 that's a long handle said what year did you get your first tattoo i got my first and second tattoo both this year uh, my first tattoo is a little sunflower on my arm, and I love it. It's very, um, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I think I was going to say very hippie-ish, but I'm not like a hippie at all. Um, but I think it is so pretty. It's like, I don't really have an actual meaning behind it, but I just like sunflowers a lot. And I wanted my first tattoo to be a sunflower. And it was either there or on my wrist where I got my birds. Um, but when I got my first tattoo, the tattoo artist was like, um, I'm not putting tattoos on the side of your hand as your first tattoo. And I was like, rude, okay. But then I got my second tattoo, which I do have a video about my tattoo experience when I got this tattoo. So I'll link that below so you can check that video out. But I don't have a video from when I got my first tattoo. I have a reveal video for it but I don't have a um an embarrassing experience from it because it was not embarrassing when I got it done I actually had fun and I I was sweating a lot but I don't have like an embarrassing story to go with that I was just really really sweaty when I got it because I was nervous but that's it I'll probably get my third one done this year too um we are three weeks away from Christmas I do want to get another tattoo if I don't get it at, by the end of this year I'll probably get it in the beginning of 2020 um I already know what I want I'm not going to talk about it yet because it's going to be a whole different I'm probably going to make a video out of it 
Um, it has a lot of sentimental meaning to me and it's something that I've wanted for a year now that I'll make a whole separate video about if you guys want to hear about that. Um, and it is something that's like kind of personal and kind of, well, it has to do with my sister, um, which is a different video. Like I said, I will make a whole different video about that and about my tattoo that I want and explaining the meaning behind the tattoo and everything. But for now, I just have my my birds that I got matching with my cousin and my pretty little sunflower. Um, yay. Um, um, yay. We danced together. We used to do hip hop together. I love her. Said, what's your goal in life? And that's pretty bold of you to think I have a goal in life because I really don't. I just kind of live every day as another day and hoping that I don't die. Nah, but my goal in life is to actually be happy, to genuinely just be happy and never have to worry about anything, which is a goal. It's not necessarily gonna happen. I just wish that's how easy life was. Aubrey, not Audrey, said hi with a smiley face. That's cute. Hi. At Eva underscore Boyd one two one actually asked me two things. Um, one, why are you not famous? I don't understand. You're amazing. Well, thank you. That's your opinion, though. Um, not everyone's gonna think I'm amazing. I don't know why I'm not famous. Make me famous. Just make me famous, and maybe I'll be famous if you make me famous. Just make me famous, and I'll be famous. Maybe I'll be famous. I don't know. But if you make me famous, maybe I'll be famous. So. She also said, will you ever do a Billie Eilish makeup look? Please do it. I totally would the only thing with that is that i feel like there's no like actual iconic makeup looks from Billie eilish and if there is it's not challenging enough she doesn't have anything that's like seriously challenging oh should i take these glasses off <laughs> so she doesn't really have any makeup looks that are like challenging and iconic like she has her basic makeup but Maybe I'll do something that's inspired by Billie Eilish, like her iconic lime green color that she wears all the time. And maybe I'll do something like that, but I do love Billie Eilish, so we'll see what happens. At X underscore Ruby underscore Lou underscore X <laughs> said, why are you so pretty? Girl, I'm really not. It's all makeup. But thank you. So you guys are so sweet. Um, I actually do get a lot of sweet compliments like that on my Instagram and you guys are so nice and I don't understand and I just You're so sweet <sighs> This one cracks me up. I don't know why I saved this one it Makes me laugh though at Kendra underscore Madison just said who are you? And honestly Kendra, I don't really know I haven't figured that out yet myself. So At Co -X -O C O X O underscore carrots. Okay. Said, did you have any childhood pets? If so, what were their names? I did have child pet childhood pets, and I still have my same uh, dog that I had since I was seven, I think. But no, my first pet. I think it was my first pet that I had. Two first dogs that I had. One was named Sandy. She was rehomed to another family that I used to be close to. And then I had another dog, Misty, who had really bad health problems. I was like five or six when she died, but I don't remember, or at least I wasn't told like what exactly was wrong with her because I was a kid and my mom didn't want to like depress me, I guess. Because what parent wants to tell their child that their dog is dying? I just, oh, Misty's gone. But I will say, that particular dog she was a sweetheart super sweet dog she had really bad dog breath but that's kind of a given with dogs nowadays um not nowadays that's kind of a given with dogs this dog one day this was when i was in kindergarten and we had to wake up so so early to catch the bus oh my god i need to stop touching my face um we had to wake up super early to catch the bus and i remember waking up going downstairs i this is a different house that i lived in going downstairs to use the bathroom and my sister was in the shower and i stepped in something and i was like this is a carpeted floor what did i just step in 
I was half asleep, so I really like, wasn't thinking about it. I went to the bathroom. I had stepped in this dog's diarrhea. This dog, we turned the lights on. This dog got like majorly sick overnight. Like everywhere we had. Oh my. <laughs> Misty, I just want you to know if you're up there in doggy heaven that I love you and I miss you. And I know you were such a good dog and you meant very well. But listen, I stepped in your diarrhea and I didn't have to do that. But you did that right before I went to school, too. So, just saying. I'm cold. I'm freezing. Oh, I also had. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be awful. So, I once. I had a, a turtle. I had a turtle. She had three babies. One day, we left said turtle and the three babies home as. Me, my mom, and my siblings went out. Tell me why we came home and this mama turtle ate all her baby turtle's eyeballs out and just left them to die. I was so sad. <laughs> I was so sad. At Nuffer underscore Fluffer 13 said, how do you get your ideas for all your makeup tutorials? Honestly, I steal them from Pinterest or like I'll steal an idea from any makeup artist that I follow and then I'll put my own little twist on it and I'll make it my own. But I do get my basic ideas from other people, from Pinterest, from Instagram, from everything. I None of my ideas are original really, to be completely honest with you. Actually, the Grinch one that I did last night, I didn't steal from anybody. I thought about that one, but I'm pretty sure someone else probably has done it before. So yeah, Pinterest and Instagram. That's where I get my inspiration. I'm totally going to butcher this last person's name. It's at Isha Patel. I-S-H-A-A -A dot P-A-T-E-L-L-L. -L -L. I hope I spelled it right and I'm sorry. Or I, I hope I pronounced it right. I'm sorry if I didn't said what caused you to start doing makeup so i did kind of talk about this a little bit in my james charles casting video um what inspired me was it wasn't really an inspiration oh wait i did have an inspiration after the anxiety stuff what really inspired me to do makeup was i was watching coco disney movie coco and I was like, oh my gosh, these characters are so beautiful. So I wanted to see if I could like, you know, just turn myself into a Coco character and it worked. And ever since I posted that, people have been asking me to do more makeup. So I said, okay, and I did it. And now makeup is just like a good anti-stress and um, anxiety reliever and everything. And I love it and I love makeup and I, I love makeup. <laughs> That's all the questions I have for today. Um, sorry this video is a little bit lame and very, very late, long overdue, and I just, I'm sorry. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. <laughs> tired. It's been a long day. Let me just give you a brief story on my week so far. Okay, my car has broken down five times at 6.30 this morning. While I was driving to my grandparents house so that's where I'm at right now and I'm stressed about it because cars are expensive so give this video a thumbs up <laughs> and make me famous okay that's it for today's video um let me know what you want to see in my next video um, hopefully it will actually be up at a proper time and not three weeks after my, after this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram at Victoria Anthony MUA. Uh, make sure you check out my last video where I did my Ipsy Glam. It was that my last video? Shoot. I don't remember. I think it was my last video it was my Ipsy Glam November unboxing i will be doing a december one soon um once that comes in so keep an eye out for that one subscribe to my channel let's get to 700 subscribers and again 
you guys are the ones that have to make me famous. I can't do all the work myself. Y'all gotta help me there. Y'all gotta help me. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all later. Bye.